Alrighty, hey everybody, Jess here with Key Tarot. Nice to see you all. I hope you've had a good week so far. Um, I'm just going to do a quick reading. This is just a general reading, not zodiac sign specific. Uh, let's say a quick blessing and we'll find out who it's for. All right. Holy Spirit, we thank you so much for being with us here today and in every single breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. All righty. Let's use this Star Power Tarot. Find out how you guys are doing. I hope you're doing well. If you hear any gurgling sounds in the background, it's my dishwasher, and I didn't want to stop it because I want the dishes to be done. I'm sure you can relate. Nine of Swords on its side, Nine of Wands on its side. Okay, Nine of Swords, this is somebody who's, um, wow. This can be a lot of different things. This can be somebody who's ready to let go of some stress and some worry and some anxiety. Knight of Wands is the card of Sagittarius specifically, um, but um, also Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Um, but the Knight of Wands, when it comes out on its side, this is somebody who's questioning whether they have the stamina for something any longer, or questioning whether they care about something any longer. Ace of Swords in the reverse. This is someone who may have received some bad news. And the tower in the reverse is something that you saw coming from a mile ahead, a mile away. You knew it was going to go down this way. You knew that this was what was going to happen. And I have the King of Pentacles on its side. That's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Doesn't have to be, though. And I've got the King of Wands in the reverse on top of that. Hmm. Let me grab another deck real quick because I don't really understand what that means. Having two kings come out there, I mean, you may be someone who's choosing between um, maybe two partners, uh, could be in a romantic relationship. But because I feel you kind of embody this Knight of Wands energy here where we have you um, struggling to commit to an option, I feel like these are two separate energies um, apart from you. And now I've got the King of Pentacles. So now I've got three kings. Whoa, what's up? Let's see. That's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Oh, no, no. We've got three. No, only two. We got the King of Pentacles twice. All right. Fair enough. That's what I thought that was. I've got the Queen of Pentacles. There it is. There's the drama. All right. I think there's somebody here who has been neglecting like a true partnership in some way. Um, possibly a King of Wands has inserted themselves into a situation. I have the Magician, oh, the Page of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Zoinks. Um, wow. Somebody, like, I'm hearing the gloves have come off. The masks have been um, removed. And we have someone who's issued, who's sending, like, some kind of inflammatory message here with this Page of Wands energy. And with this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, I mean, you've got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ace of Swords in the reverse. This is someone who feels like they have to drop the ball. They have to walk away from a situation. They, 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 mm. Now I have the Ace of Swords in the reverse again. It's almost like you receive a message that is upsetting but for some reason I feel like it ends some amount of anxiety for you in some way and it feels like somebody else fire like you fire back with a similar message honestly when you have the ace of swords in the reverse twice like that I just caution you to really watch the things that you say and the way that you say them um this week because you don't want to hurt someone if you can avoid it. Um, this magician energy, I think of that as the card of Ophiuchus, um, but a lot of people will say Aries. So you have a lot of fire sign energy out here. Um, this magician thought that they, um, well, 
Um, I really do feel like this magician energy, it, it somehow pertains to you as well, because it feels like someone who's kind of known the whole time, especially with that tower in the reverse like that, known the whole time the way the situation was going to go down. And now it seems like there's an energy of exposure here with that ace of swords out there in the reverse twice and i think there's somebody who's saying well fine then that really solidifies my choice or the situation that i'm in i'm still unclear because you have both of this king of wands and you've got this um, king of pentacles out there twice and somebody else is coming in here as this queen of pentacles i don't even know like, I can't tell. We may just have an awful lot of people involved in this situation. I have the nine of wands in the reverse. It's almost like all of the walls fall down all of a sudden in this situation. And it's like everything kind of comes to comes to light. It's, it's, um, it's like at the end of The Wizard of Oz when they find out that the wizard's behind the curtain and he says, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. And it, like, that's all you can pay attention to. And all of a sudden there's this exposure and everybody kind of has to come clean about the situation and everyone is actually better off in the end for it. That's kind of that situation and I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> uh. All right, I have the strength in the reverse. This is somebody who feels like um, they can't, they can't fix it. They can't get ahead of it. They can't um, head this off. They can't change it. It's like it's a done deal. It's just out in the open. I have the three of swords here. This is the energy of a breakup. Um, whatever situation happens here, it feels like it causes the ending of a situation. This can be in your love life. This can be in a career. This I don't even know what we're really talking about here. But there are, it's because there are a lot of people involved in this situation. Could be multiple um, partnerings or something like that. Um, the Three of Swords is indeed the um, breakup or the ending of something, though. It's a painful ending. I have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, and now I have the Nine of Swords again. You have a lot of repeat cards in here for just this short little reading so far. We've been on 743 when I looked at the clock, and... Um, that's just not that many. You've already got a couple of repeats here, three repeats so far. Um, but this nine of swords, it's, it, and it comes out on the side, on its side again. This is somebody who's like, wow, this is such a nightmare situation to be in. And yet it's always been a nightmare situation. And now it's exposed as being this nightmare situation that it is. I guess that we can just all get over it now. Oof. So it's kind of like more anxiety brings upon the release of the anxiety. I don't know. And I have the four of um, cups. Whoever experiences or who has, it's it, this could be an energy that's fairly recent. Actually, it feels like it's already happened over here. Um, there was some kind of ending here between two people or a partnership of some sort. Um, and now it, it feels like it was kind of under wraps or something. Now it's kind of being blown out into the open here. Um, because the reason I say that is because I have this four of cups on top of the three of swords here, which is kind of an energy of isolation. Someone who's been isolating themselves from other people and it feels like they didn't want information to be leaked in some way. I have the Two of Swords and the Hanged Man out. Two of Swords is somebody who feels like they're, specific to this Chocoli deck, is somebody who feels like they are on a very fragile, a fragile course. You know, one wrong move. They've kind of been trying to protect themselves and other people in this situation from uh, what could happen. Like they're just praying that they get to the other side safely. And now, now what, right? We have the hanged man that comes out with that. Um, and that's the energy of Pisces, but, and it goes right on top of this tower in the reverse. This is someone who was waiting for this to happen. Honestly, they were waiting for this to happen and they were waiting on everybody else to find out or catch up or get on board or whatever, whatever. 
Um, and I, it's, it does feel like somebody who's just kind of like, Psh, whatever. All right, hold on. Let me get another deck here because this, I have, I really don't know what we're talking about here. And it is very intense energy. Like there's a lot of people involved in this situation. I'm just trying to decide which deck I want to use. I guess, I guess I'm going to use this vice versa tarot here. Again, I have the seven of pentacles on the bottom of that one and the knight of wands out there in the upright. Okay, so this is somebody who was waiting to see what was gonna happen before they took action in the situation. Oof, we got the 10, hold on, let me just put this down for a minute. Um, we got the 10 of swords right here, which there's like been some kind of final ending and there could have been something, it, it sparks from a message that's sent or received in some way. That's probably why we have this Ace of Swords out here twice, but we have this Page of Wands out here twice as well. And we have the Knight of Wands out there twice, I think, right? Um, but with this Ten of Swords, that's the Minor Arcana of the Death card, right? And so we have someone who, who's just done. They're just done. They're, what did I say? Psh. I'm over it, right? So we have, and we have the chariot card here, which is somebody who's moving on mentally, physically, spiritually, and we got the eight of cups there too. Somebody who's walking away from everything. Oof. All right. Need we, uh, somebody who's preparing themselves for gossip and a, um, oof. Hailstorms, what I'm hearing. But here's what comes from that. Um, I've got this page of cups on the top here, and there it is. There's that same card I was just talking about, and then we got the temperance card. Um, what really comes from this, though, we have the page of cups on its side. There's someone here who um, extends an olive branch to someone else amidst this situation, amidst this scenario. Um, there is some kind of apology. Um, uh, or, or forgiveness or some kind of message of love that follows this situation, whatever it is, um, directly after it, it falls apart here. With this five of swords, that's exactly what I was saying. This person is afraid of some kind of gossip. This was the card I was looking at. Um, it just came out on its own. Um, but the, it is the energy of worrying about what other people are going to think. This is the energy of mm, just feeling like they have to cut ties with just about everybody. Mm. And just like almost feeling like they have to walk away from everything that they've known or everybody that they've um, grown to know for some time. I'm going to ask more about this tower in a minute because I think that may clarify what we're actually dealing with here. And then I want to find out a little bit more like who this king of wands in the reverse is right here in the middle too. Um, but over here to this um, temperance card, that's the card of Sagittarius. And it feels like this is somebody who learns how to make lemonade out of lemons. That's for sure. Temperance and the magician working together here. It's about divine alchemy. It's about um, somebody who says, yep. I was waiting for the truth to come out, and now that I'm seeing what the truth is, now I know how I can deal with it. Now I know how we can start to pick up the pieces. And that's that energy of the tower. The tower brings that course redirection, and I say this all the time, um, where it changes the course of your life in some way, whether it's for the day or for the week or for the month or for forever, right? But it really does hit the reset button on your life, and oftentimes it comes in and it causes crisis or catastrophe, or so it feels at the time and we feel like we're scrambling to maintain our ego and our pride right and sometimes it has to just be demolished and we have to rebuild um, in a better healthier way for ourselves and it feels like this person sees whatever this tower moment is as being that for them and that is why we have the silver lining here Mm. Oh, fine. Um, I feel like that's it. The, the message, cause I was saying, I was thinking, um, what is this tower in the reverse? Like, is it, what is the situation exactly? Um, and it has this page of wands right on top of it, which I said was kind of an instigatory message, right? And the Hierophant card in the reverse came out with that. That's the card of Taurus, but it's also um, a card of marriage. It's a card of traditional values. It's a card of um, contracts and of commitments, right? When we have that in the reverse, this is somebody who comes clean about ending a major commitment in their life, whether this is love life or whether this is career or whatever. And that's the tower. All right, then what? 
And I've got the Knight of Wands out again. Three times out with the Knight of Wands from three decks. That's crazy town. But I have the Knight of Cups with that and the Tower. Oh, I do not want to take this many cards. I want to put these back in. Hold on. Just turn it. And I've got the Lovers out. I got to put a rock on top of this. Here, we'll just put the scrunchie on top. Oh, we've got the Two of Swords out there as well. And then I had to have the High Priestess because we knew it. And fine. We'll stop there. And that is it. Um... So all of a sudden, this is what the tower moment is, and this is very clear. So it's not going to be for everybody, but someone here releases that they are ending some kind of major commitment in their life. Something, there's some kind of, ex, like, I don't, I'm hearing like powder keg, but it's, it's something that feels like the walls are blown off of a house almost, and it exposes the insides of what's really been going on under the surface in some way. And somebody sends a message regarding this ending. And it's this, I think it's this, I'm still not clear on who that King of Wands is. Hold on, let's just real quick like, Ace of Cups in the reverse. This is someone whose heart has been broken for some time. And someone who hasn't been telling the truth about it for some time. Um, with that Seven of Swords right there. I've got the Emperor in the reverse. That's who the King of Wands is. Mm. That's the card of Aries. All right, that may be of significance to somebody. But there's some kind of exposure here for this King of Wands and this King of Pentacles. I feel like, okay. Probably the same, right? I've got the King of Wands out to clarify the King of Pentacles. Um, the King of Pentacles is some, and let's just get off the zodiac signs um, because the King of Pentacles is somebody who, beyond being Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, right, is someone who is very stable. They have quite a bit of money, um, typically because they've worked hard for it. This is somebody who um, does things by the book. This is someone who takes care of others. They're very generous, typically, um, when they're in the upright position, I should say. I should say. Um, they typically um, have all of their ducks in a row. This is somebody who's a planner. They're very thoughtful. Um, they tend to be... Um, rather stoic, you know, um, but kind um, and giving. And the King of Wands is someone beyond being Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, who's pretty fiery, very passionate, typically very attractive. Um, they love to tell jokes. They love to laugh. Um, they have a lot of energy. They're fun to be around. Um, they love um, to make other people happy. They um, they're very energetic. They can be kind of temperamental as well. Uh, they're just, um, there's just something about them that's a little bit magical. That's the King of Wands. And so you'll have to just decide how those folks, um, if any, resonate with you there. But this Emperor is the card of Divine Masculine and also the card of Aries as well. But this Emperor is someone who would embody all of the four kings, right? Um, king of Wands, King of Swords, King of Cups, and King of uh, Pentacles. Just particular to this reading, it seems like the King of Wands very clearly um, is present as well as the King of Pentacles. So those zodiac signs may be of significance to you or the qualities of those individuals may be of significance to you. So it feels like these kings go through some kind of exposure here. Now here you are sitting with this um, high priestess energy and I was waiting for this in relation to the magician energy. This person you will have known that this was kind of going on under behind the scenes, even though this is this tower comes out here twice now, right? Um, where it's kind of like this shock and awe event. Everybody else is like, oh, I did not see that coming. You would be the person with this high priestess energy, which is also Pisces. We've had that out here a couple of times, Pisces energy. But it's, it's somebody who's always kind of known the truth. Um, and with this tower that comes out, this is... What are you going to do but start all over again, right? And this person is trying to decide now what's their next move? What do they do next? Um, for some reason, this exposure allows this King of Wands, King of Pentacles, Emperor energy to rebuild. And there's kind of like a thank you, how do you do? And I'm done with this. And we're ready to be over it, ready to be done with the stress, ready to be done with the worries. With this Lover's card that comes out, that's the card of Gemini. But we know that now we have a choice to make. We have a choice in love, is a choice in 
near future. It's a choice um, in pathways. It doesn't have to be relating to your love life. The lover's card, while it does often represent a major choice to be made in love, and when we have choices, that indicates having more than one option, right? But it can also indicate a major choice in your life path. Um, are you all in or are you all out? Are you going to pick this one or not? Yes. Mm-hmm. It goes right on top of that um, Knight of Cups, though, which is that person who's trying to decide who they want to give their heart to. And right now, they're going in a different direction they, than they have been going in the past. Look at both of these individuals here in this chariot and this um, Knight of Cups. They both are heading in a new direction. And it feels like they're not entirely sure what's going to happen. How does this pertain to you? I think you've been watching this whole thing from afar. I think you've had a lot of anxiety about this situation. Whoever you are, you, are, you might be what this King of Wands or King of Pentacles or Emperor energy. Or you might be someone who's kind of tangled up here in the middle with this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse energy. Or it feels like you were this Knight of Wands though. We have secrets coming out with the moon, six of wands, and the king of cups out. Man, we got every king except for the king of swords, which is that one who communicates. Classic. Um, the moon is the card of cancer. That is secrets coming out, secrets coming to light. Six of wands is um, making alliances with a select few really. Um, it feels like fear of judgment. It feels like you may lose friends in this situation somehow. This King of Cups energy is somebody who's choosing to follow their heart, but they haven't told anybody about it yet. There's a lack of um, expression here. And I have the Ace of Swords out again. That is three times, four times. I've got the Knight of, Nine of Pentacles and the Judgment card. Um, Nine of Pentacles is someone who choose to go independently on their own. And the Judgment card is somebody who says it's about time, but I am really not ready. It's like when um, your alarm clock goes off in the morning and you just want to keep hitting the snooze button like indefinitely. Um, that's how this person was feeling for a long time and they just... They just kept hitting it, and now we've had this major change happen. Somehow, this allows you to reconnect with this person. I saw that three of um, cups over here a minute ago. I don't know where it went. There's such a jumble up here. There it is. Three of Cups, um, that's about reconciliation. This person is going to reach out to you. They're going to talk to you, and you knew it the whole time. You knew exactly what was going on here. Ten of Cups, there it is. <sighs> All right, well, that's going to lead to a lot of happiness. Um, Ten of Cups is a card of marriage. It's a card of wish fulfillment. It's a card of a family coming together. It could be a blended family coming together. It's good stuff. And we got the Page of Wands again and the Ace of Swords again. And there's the King of Swords right there. That's the one I said we were waiting for. And I've got a bunch more repeats here. Just I've, like all of these are repeats. And the Tower and the Three of Cups and the Nine of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. I don't think we have the Nine of Cups out yet, although I know it's right here. No, it's not. Yes, it is. There it is. I saw it already. And then we have the Four of Cups again and the Judgment card. And then there's the Two of Cups. And now I'm putting that away. Um, yeah, so it's basically all the same energy out all over again. You've had it basically out three times here out of basically four decks I've used here. Um, every single card is repeated here pretty much. And with the addition of this King of Swords on top of that Emperor in the reverse, that King of Swords is in the reverse. This person hasn't been telling the truth for a long time. We have the Seven of Swords out here at somewhere under this big old mess. Um, and you knew it, you knew it the whole time. Um, and you're trying to decide 
what you're gonna do with this information. And there it is. Um, this tower moment is not just for this um, King of Wands, King of Pentacles, Emperor energy. It's for you too, whoever you are. I don't know which side of the coin you're on here, but somehow this person's exposure puts them back into some kind of reconciliatory state with you where we have this Ace of Cups out. I've seen that a couple of times. I don't remember where I put it. Um, but it leads to this Two of Cups, which is a new partner or a new pairing. I'm still not sure if this is related to love or if this is related to career, but it's heavy and there's a lot of people's energy involved here. This is quite a lot to work out here. Um, there's this judgment energy, which is saying like when it's time, it's time. And it feels like whatever this is pushes to people back together here for something that's really prosperous and really happy. Um, really prosperous, really happy, and a lot of um, potential, a lot of potential, a lot of potential for growth, a lot of potential for um, very solid partnership here. I'm not even sure exactly what we're talking about. I was just thinking about the emperor and I was like, who, how, how does this end up working out? But I have the nine of pentacles here, which is the minor arcana of the empress. And I'm pretty sure if I picked up any of the decks, probably the empress would be the next card to come out. It's not even, but this nine of pentacles is somebody who's ready to take on whatever this empire is with this emperor. It's good. I like it. I don't know who you are. I don't know what is going on over there in your living room, but it is fascinating to me. All right. Much love to you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day today. I will try to get back on here with an 1111 reading for tomorrow. Um, yeah. So I'll talk to you soon. Have a great time um, with the rest of your week. Which button do I push? Let's see.